Welcome to the ACS Learning Center. In this video, we're going to do an overview of laundry. Let's start out by asking a question. What is an OPL? Simply, it's an on-premise laundry. So an on-premise laundry is a facility that has a laundry on site. This is where the linen is used, washed, dried, stored. These are generally found in hotels, motels, nursing homes. So what are the benefits to a customer to have their own OPL? First, we look at the time taken to laundry their items. It's reduced if they send it out to a central laundry or somebody else doing it for them, they have to wait for the time for that company to pick it up, take it back, wash it, dry it, fold it, and return it to them. This in general could take anywhere from one to three days. The linen is readily available on site in case of emergencies. You have problems in rooms, you got somebody that has made a huge mess, you need linen to be able to turn it around. Having it on site, you have a faster turnaround time. Control can be exercised over the wash process. They can pick who they want for their laundry companies. They can pick their own washing machines. Comparatively speaking, it can actually do less damage to the linen than in a commercial environment. And their par level required for the property is reduced, or so the customer thinks. And we'll cover that a little bit later in these programs. So let's look at the opposite side. What are the disadvantages of your customer to own in their own OPL? One is the cost of the equipment. Buying commercial washers and dryers is pretty expensive. Second part to that is the maintenance can be very high on these machines. When we're looking at maintenance personnel within these facilities, they're generally just basic maintenance personnel. They're used to fixing lights, switches, outlets. Uh, some of them does air conditioning, heating systems, but not many are actually trained to repair commercial washers and dryers. They have to be justified by the adequate amount of linen. Again, here we are talking about par levels. You know, how much linen do they have on the property? It requires more personnel to run a laundry. You not only have to have your housekeepers, but you have to have somebody in the laundry that can actually do the washing, drying, and folding. Lastly, you need space. If you've been in several of your laundry accounts while you're on route, you'll notice that in laundries and hotels in particular, there's not a lot of space inside of there. Laundries, areas within the hotels or motels, they don't generate money like rooms do. So while we're talking about money, let's take a look at how the customer spends their dollar. Here's a breakdown that's fairly close. It's going to vary slightly depending on the property, but generally they'll spend 46% in labor in the laundry. 3% of that is going to go into repairs. Chemical costs is usually around 6%. Energy and linen replacement runs in an upper neighborhood of about 19%, water and sewage at about 7%. So when we're looking at this customer's dollar that they're spending, what part of that dollar do we affect? Quick answer would be chemical costs, and that would be right. But when we look at the overall picture, we affect every single bit of this pie that the, that the customer's spending that's on there. If we don't design our wash formulas correctly and they're having to do a lot of rewash, they're having a lot of stains, they're having to wash again, we're adding more time, more labor, more energy, water and sewage, and even possibly linen replacement if we don't get the linen back to satisfactory condition to be used. So in general, we affect every single bit of the dollar that the customer spends. In the OPL market, let's just take a look at the overview of what we do in laundries. So these are pretty common across our company and in our branches. We do a lot of the small hotels and motels. 
a lot of nursing homes, assisted living, hospitals. We do schools, uh, especially in athletics for the schools. We do correctional facilities in prisons. We even have some country clubs and restaurants that is doing their own linen. Now, depending on your branch, we also do some additional markets. You know, we do shirt laundries, uniform places, linen and dust control. Those are going to be like your walk-off mats. Central laundries, where people send all their laundry to do and, and they send it back. And then we actually do luxury hotels and even some large hospitals. What are the markets out there that you think that we can do some laundries in? Again, vision yourself going down the road, running your route. You're looking up and down the road, you're looking up and down the streets, you're seeing the businesses. Have you ever asked a question that says, what could have a laundry inside of there? Here's some ideas. Fire departments have laundries. Party rental places are going to have their own laundries. Animal hospitals and shelters also has laundries in them. And again, party rental places and hospitals, there a lot of times, that's a dual business. They'll also have dish machines inside of there. Animal hospitals and shelters, they use dish machines to wash and sanitize their food bowls and water bowls that are in there. Again, there are laundry markets out there completely untouched. Depending on the level of service from your branch, depending on how big of the laundries can you fool with. Learn more about on-premise laundries by talking to your managers, regional manager or vice president, or contact the training center for more information.